So in this video, I want to talk about Adobe Dimension and how Adobe Dimension does ray tracing. Now, ray tracing is a procedure used in graphics to give an image or a 3D image, things like shadows, glows, and reflections. So we can see all of the things inside of this image here. We've got these glowing objects here, which are called little glowing objects. And these are things that just put in the scene to add a little bit of a glow to, to, to the design. Uh, you can also see these elements here, which are glowing as well. Now these glowing elements are reflecting on the ground plane inside of dimension. And this letter here is projecting a light onto this other letter. It's actually projecting a light at the back because I use the glowing material to project the uh, light onto the other letter there. And that all comes alive when we ray trace the image. Now inside of Dimension, there are a couple of ways of, of ray tracing. One is to go to the render tab. And in that tab, when you click the render button, it's gonna ray trace and it's gonna ray trace to either low, medium or high quality in the current edition of Dimension. Another way is to render, uh, to, is to do ray tracing in the way that I've done it here, which is to click on the button here. And what that does is that it gives us a render preview, which might not be as high quality as the final render, but it allows us to see what the shadows and reflections are all gonna look like. However, before we click on that button, we have this kind of like really basic 3D image. It's not really telling us how the lights and the materials are interacting together. It's not showing any of the glowing. We're not seeing the glowing over here or within of these items down here. So it's not giving us an accurate picture of how this scene is going to look. When we do click on the button, it takes a bit of time to render. It's usually not that automatic. And, and if I were to change anything in the scene now, it would start rendering again. It will take a few minutes to complete rendering. Now, another way of turning the render on and off is to use the shortcut of the backslash key. You can actually see it over here. If you hover, it will show you the, the shortcut key. And that's a way of very quickly turning the render on and off. Now with this one here, because I've just rendered it in the viewport rather than using the render button, as soon as I make any type of adjustment, it starts rendering again. And you can see it always starts rendering with quite a lot of noise. Another thing to bear in mind is with Dimension, the current edition of Dimension, it seems to use the CPU quite a lot when doing rendering. In previous editions, you were able to turn on a GPU to do some rendering, but not so much in the current edition. And the other thing to bear in mind is that when you are rendering, if you click away, as I've done, it actually stops rendering. And if you start working, say, in Google Chrome, it won't render at all. But if you come back and just click once, it will start rendering and you can see a gradual improvement in these kind of noisy areas and in the reflections. And after a few minutes, you'll see more or less a, a realistic depiction of what the final image is gonna look like. But it only does that whilst you're working inside of Dimension. If you start working another piece of software, it will stop for a while. And then when you come back, it will start again. So that's a quick set of tips for using ray tracing inside of Dimension. Now, if you have a fairly powerful computer, you could keep the ray tracing on all the time. Or if you want to, and you have a less powerful machine, you could just work like this and things will be a lot faster. Uh, a final tip is that with the current version of uh, dimension, you can change the resolution of the render. So if I choose a quarter, we get a fairly low quality render happening, but we can see the reflections and the shadows and everything. And the other thing is that we have the option, let me go back to full resolution. We have the option of reducing noise. So every time I start to render, we can see a lot of noise and just clicking on this and choosing reduce noise. It reduces the amount of noise when we're rendering. Let me use the keyboard shortcut. And you might prefer that or you might prefer seeing a little bit of noise. Personally, I prefer seeing a little bit of noise as the render starts to progress. But that is my quick tip for ray tracing inside of Dimension. Uh, the only thing I'm, other thing I'm going to mention is that there is a cloud version of the renderer. And if you click on that one, you get a bunch of options to do your rendering inside of the basically using an online service that Adobe are currently trying to develop. 
So that's something you might want to try. I think currently it's free and in some stage in the future, they're probably going to charge for it if it works well. That is going to be it for this one. Hope you found some of that useful. I will see you in the next video.